Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to the Star Fox playthrough. This is the bonus episode. Uh, so this is going to be the last video of this project. Uh, we've already completed the game. We completed all three routes. Uh, now for this video, I'm going to showcase a couple of things that I didn't cover in the previous video. Um, basically, there are two other areas in this game that we didn't actually get to see. And one of the areas we can actually see on the map right now, the black hole that's kind of in the uh, middle of the area. It's kind of in between Asteroid and Space Armada, like a little bit above that little path. Uh, there is a way you can actually get there. And the way you have to get there is through um, the Asteroid level in the first path, so level one. Uh, so we're going to actually take a look at that first. So I'm going to go ahead and cut footage here. And I'll meet you guys at the beginning of the asteroid level and basically explain what we're going to be doing from there. So, uh, be right back. Okay, here we are on stage number two, part of the asteroid level, um, in the level one path. Um, so yeah, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to the black hole. Uh, to get to the black hole, you actually have to activate a special warp that's in this level. And to activate this warp, it's actually kind of tricky. It's... It sounds easy in concept, but uh, there's actually a little more to it than that because uh, you have to do something in a very specific way. Um, basically, when we get to a certain part, uh, there'll be rotating asteroids that, that are kind of like in a line where two of them are, well, four of them are gray, and then there's a red asteroid in the middle. Um, when you get to those formations, that's when we need to start paying attention. And what you have to do is, since you can only destroy the red asteroids, um, you have to destroy the asteroid as close to the asteroid as possible without crashing into it. Which, uh, it, you really do have to be very close. It is kind of uh, finicky to actually get this to work. But um, that's essentially what you have to do, is you have to defeat all of those uh, rotating asteroid formations. Or at least the red asteroid in each of those formations. And again, you'll know you'll know what I'm talking about when we get to it. We won't see it for a little bit. Um, basically, once we start seeing like some asteroids spinning around, we'll basically know we're at the right place. Um, but yeah, this is actually kind of, I guess, the inspiration for kind of the warp zones that are in Star Fox 64. But um, obviously, they're well, they're in this game, so they're different in that right. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we're going to be trying to showcase. So here we go, this formation right here. Get as close as you can, defeat it. Now we did get hit. It, it may still count because we destroyed it beforehand. Um, but we'll see. I'll go ahead and try again. And if it doesn't work, we'll just have to redo it, unfortunately. And once we destroy the third one, um, you'll have this asteroid right here. Destroy that and fly into that warp hole. And this will give us access to the uh, black hole. So, here we go. The awesome black hole. This space graveyard, created by Endross's experiments, is where your father vanished, Fox. Oh, wow, so... This is apparently where our father went to. Well, that sounds interesting. Um, so basically, um, this is just kind of like a small mini-stage. Uh, there's not really any bosses here. Uh, but it is interesting, because you will notice, like, uh, certain um, enemies or certain components of other bosses in this game. So you'll see some kind of familiar uh, mechanisms here, which is kind of interesting. It literally is kind of a space graveyard of sorts. Um, but yeah, um, so we're going through this area now. Um, as we go through this area, you'll notice uh, a couple of different gates. There's the first gate. And if you actually take this gate, you'll actually end up at Sector Y in Path 2. So, um, you can basically, if you accidentally go to Level 1, or if you want to see the ending of uh, Level 2, you can actually use this as a way to kind of just skip between different paths and stuff. Uh, so we're basically just uh, skipped a Sector X and Titania of the uh, level 2 path. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically what the warp zone is. Um, that is only one of the three possible warps, though, so I'm going to very quickly uh, go back to that stage and showcase the other two warps. I'm probably not going to enter both of them, but I will at least um, tell you guys where those warps go, so I will uh, once again be right back. Okay, so I am back here at the black hole, uh, so we went ahead and saw one of the... Uh, one of the warp points, and again, I won't go through every single one of them, I'll just tell you where the uh, next one goes, and then I'll go through the third one. Um, but yeah, that's basically what this area is, just kind of a way for you to warp around the galaxy, uh, potentially experience some new planets if uh, maybe you have trouble uh, getting to some of the later routes of the harder path. Um, but yeah, so that one will always go to Sector Y on the level 2 routes. Um, if you go a little further, though, um, you'll actually get another warp possibility. Um, not there, of course. There is this. You can also get a couple of extra goodies in this stage as well. Uh, that path right there, that'll actually take you to Sector Z of Level 3. You still have to go through that and Macbeth before you get to Venom, but still, it takes you pretty far into the third route, all things considered. And there is one more route... Uh, this final route here. This will actually take you straight to Venom, but on the level 1 path. And if you skip that warp, uh, the stage will basically just loop around until you actually go to a specific warp point. So, that's basically what this is. Um, you know, it's essentially getting you to the level 4s of each of the different routes. Because, um, again, like... We obviously took the warp in level 2 of level 1, they're treating this as level 3, so then you go to basically level 4 after the fact. Um, but yeah, that's basically uh, that's basically what this area is. It's just a way to, you know, just kind of warp around the area, try out some uh, different paths if for one reason or another you can't beat one of the other paths. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. That's basically what this uh, stage amounts to. And again, if you don't take any of the warps, you'll just loop around and go to a different one. So, I want to say this one will take me to Sector Z, if I'm not mistaken. Because I skipped two of them, I skipped the first one again, and this is the second one. I oh, know, that's the one that goes to Venom. That's kind of weird, though. I thought I skipped, like, two others, though, but... Eh, whatever. Basically, like... I, I revealed all the different warp points. That's all that matters. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, so the other secret I wanted to show off is actually in the other asteroid stage on level 3. Uh, so I'll have to start a new game and go to that stage, but that's basically where I'm going to go next. So I'll see you guys when I get there, so be right back. Okay, here we are in the level 3 asteroid stage. Uh, this stage is a little more difficult, just due to the nature of this being on the level 3 path, so uh, do be careful of the enemies here at the beginning. Um, we don't have to wait as long to get to this secret as we did the one in the other asteroid level, but still, um, it's probably a little harder to survive here just because of the tougher enemies that are here. Um, essentially what you're looking for is you're looking for a giant asteroid that's going to be on the right side. Uh, and I said right side, not the left side, so we can ignore that asteroid right there. Um, is it this one? Yeah, I believe it's this one. Basically, you want to shoot this asteroid enough times, and then an egg will uh, move out in front of you, and then in from that egg, you'll hatch a bird. And basically, what you want to do is you want to essentially run into that bird. So that's what we're going to do. So, come on. I missed the bird. Hold on, guys. Okay, there's the big asteroid again. Let's go ahead and try this. Explode the asteroid, release the egg. To release the bird. There we go. Okay, we got it this time. This will take us to a random warp hole that's over here. 
And this is actually the location of what's called and referred to as the bad ending of the game. <laughs> so here we have Out of This Dimension. Come in, our wings. Fox, where are you? We need you to protect Corneria. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, General Pepper, because uh, we're going on a bit of a weird, uh... Yeah, this. <laughs> Welcome to Out of This Dimension. I am sorry if, uh, this is really messing with your eyes. Feel free to turn away from the video if it does, because I don't want you guys to, uh, get a headache or anything. Um, but yeah, this is another, uh, secret bonus stage. Um, and like I said, it's kind of the bad ending of the game. Uh, in this stage, you have a bunch of paper airplanes that will uh, come and try to attack you. Uh, they're pretty easy to take care of, though. And you also have, like, these random, like, uh, random rotating pieces of geometry, as we've seen in some of the other levels of the game. So, um, for this stage, uh, this stage is honestly never-ending. Which I know is a weird thing to say. It's like, well, okay, how is it never ending? Well, it basically just... Again, this is why this is referred to as the bad ending, is it just kind of loops around and does this sang, same song and dance over and over again. And um, I, I am going to keep going with this, because there is something that um, I do want to show in this area. But once I show that thing, that's essentially going to be it for this video. So <clears throat> this shouldn't take too long, but... Um, what we are going to show off is kind of luck-based, and again, I'll explain why it is when we actually get there. But yeah, this is also kind of another, like, inspiration um, in Star Fox 64. I believe the, the actual warp zones of uh, Star Fox 64 have kind of this uh, just weird, trippy vibe to it. <laughs> so you have to you know, uh, navigate like this kind of weirdness when you're going through those warp zones. But again, this is not necessarily a warp zone though. This is again, again, it's just a random cycle, a bad ending, stuff of that nature, an easter egg of sorts. I mean, that's why we released that egg from the asteroid, is they were going to show us this easter egg. <clears throat> but yeah, um, basically you want to just keep going through this stage. At some point, something will happen. I keep defeating all the paper planes as you're going through this. That's really all there is to it. I kind of wish, like, the... I don't know, the imagery in the backgrounds didn't, like, swivel as much as it does. Like, it can still kind of do the swivel, but, like, I think it's a little too much in some cases. Uh, so here we go. Here is the boss of Out of Dimension. A giant slot machine. So here's the deal with the slot machine. Um, well, you know how slot machines work. It's uh, basically a game of chance. You uh, pull the lever. Um, well, that, that allows me to pull the lever. And then you'll get certain results on the slots. Bar. Oh no, not Andros. Uh, Andros is what we didn't want. Uh, but what we're essentially trying to do is here is we want to get triple sevens. Triple sevens is what we want to try to get. And again, it is kind of luck based, I think. Maybe I have to. But uh, for a lot of the cases, like, they'll shoot out coins. And the coins, I believe, actually heal you if you take damage. So that's kind of nice. Unfortunately, though, getting an Andross is not good, because if you get an Andross, they'll start firing at you. And it's obviously not what you want, but again, like I said, you can heal via the coins. But yeah, we're trying to get, uh, we're trying to get triple sevens is basically what we're trying to do. Give me the coins. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, this is kind of a fun little gimmick boss. Obviously, it's, you know, meant not super seriously or anything. It's, uh... Man, I'm getting a lot of unlucky breaks with these Andross heads.
got a seven that time. I think I can press the things to lock certain things in. Like, I think if I do this, I can lock it in. Maybe you can only lock it in until you get a payout. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. I couldn't lock that in. Seven? No! Oh, it was so close. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this. Seven. Seven! Okay, there we go. Okay, we got it, finally. So, after getting triple sevens, you'll get a nice little payout. You'll heal up if you need to. And then the slot machine will explode, and with that we have defeated the boss of the good ending. And now we'll get, uh, I guess kind of the credits, you can kind of move around while you're doing this, but uh, at this point it's essentially over, so I'm not going to really uh, stress myself too much about uh, seeing any more of this, but uh, this will basically continue until the letters uh, the end uh, show up. And then you can just kind of shoot those for a while. Uh, there'll be enemies that come by that can uh, destroy you if you actually want to lose your lives. Um, but that, that's pretty much it. You're kind of just stuck in this dimension, or stuck in this out of dimension place uh, for the rest of this game. So you kind of need to quit at this point. I mean, it was, it's technically the bad ending, but it wasn't necessarily meant to be like an official ending. So it's kind of like an Easter egg. Uh, more than anything, but uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much going to be it. So uh, with this, I have showed off everything that I intended to show off of this game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Honestly, it was more fun and interesting than I thought it would be. Um, I'm definitely looking more forward to Star Fox 64 when I get around to that, which, as I said before, will be my next Star Fox playthrough. I don't know when exactly it's going to be. I'll try for some time next year, but uh, again, with how weird things have been, um, can't exactly promise that. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Pretty fun game. Not the best, in my opinion, but uh, it was the start of a legendary series known as the Star Fox series. This has been Slim Kirby. I'll see you guys for the next playthrough. Later, folks.